Hello, in this video we will study about the natural pacemaker of the heart. The heart has its own built-in electrical system called the conduction system. It sends electrical signals, signals throughout the heart. It determines the time of the heart beat and causes the heart to beat in a coordinated rhythmic pattern. The conduction system of the heart consists of sinoatrial node, which is also called a sinus node, atrioventricular node, bundle of his, and Purkinje fibers. Sinoatrial node is called as the natural pacemaker of the heart because electrical signals or impulses of the heart are generated by sinoatrial node. The conduction system of the heart stimulates precise contraction of the heart chambers to ensure that blood is pumped effectively. Now let's look at the closer view at how conduction system of the heart works. Sinoatrial node which is present at the junction of vena cava and atria. Here electrical impulse is generated. So each time the sino, uh, sinoatrial node generates a new electrical impulse, that impulse spreads out through the heart's first chambers that is right atrium and the left atrium. It stimulates the heart cha first chambers, that is um, the right atria and the left atria, to contract, pumping blood into the lower chambers of the heart, that is right ventricle and the left ventricle. The electrical impulse then spreads to another area of specialized tissues which are located between the atria and the ventricle. These are called as the atrioventricular node. You can see here the yellow color represents atrioventricular node. It is present at the junction of atria and ventricles. First one is a sinoatrial node. Here electrical impulse is generated and then this electrical impulse generated to the right atrium and the left atrium. Then after, um, you know, when these uh, atria contract, so what happens is that this electrical impulse is received by atrioventricular node, which is present at the junction of atria and the ventricles. Atrioventricular node momentarily slows down the spread of the electrical impulse to allow the left atria, atrium and the right atrium to finish contracting. So when they finish contracting, so yeah, from the atrioventricular node, the impulse spreads to another system of specialized fibers, which are called as the bundle of his. You can see here right bundle of right bundle branch and left bundle branch. This right and left ventral, uh, bundle branch, which is present between the ventricles, is actually it is originated from bundle of his, which is uh, also present within the uh, ventricles. Now from the bundle of his, this electrical impulse finally reaches to the Purkinje fibers. You can see it moves to the right and left side of the heart. These fibers distribute the electrical impulse rapidly to all areas of right and left ventricles, stimulating them to contract in a coordinated uh, way. And with this contraction, blood is pumped uh, blood is pumped from the right ventricle to the lungs and from the left ventricle the blood moves into the aorta and from aorta to all parts of the body. So basically, you know, heart if taken out from the body, it will still contract, you know, because heart contraction is related to the internal stimulus rather than the external stimulus. And, you know, this heart contraction relaxation, it all uh, starts at the sinoatrial node, then moves into the atrioventricular node, then bundle of his, and then Purkinje fibers. And these all contractions brings about the, um, you know, um, these all contraction causes the blood to flow from one chamber to another chamber. And finally, from the right side, the blood goes into the uh, lungs for oxygenation. And from the left side, the blood goes to the aorta and then from aorta to all parts of the body to transport that oxygenated blood to all parts of the body. Thanks for watching.